What's up and welcome back Fire Nation, my name is Flame and today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to play Fortnite. Alright everybody, the first tip that I'm going to give you is about the first thing that you're going to need to deal with as soon as you leave the spawn island and that is choosing where you're going to land. The place that you land can easily de determine whether you're going to live through the match, hell probably win, or if you're just going to flat out die immediately. If you're someone who loves to rush in, guns blazing, and kill as many people as possible, then not only do I suggest any of the new spots that were recently introduced into the map with the new season, but also places like Salty Springs, Friendly Farm, as well as Pleasant Park. With nice aim, decent building skills, and a shotgun or two, you'll get plenty of kills in these locations. But if you're someone who prefers to wait for the clock to run out and then make your move, or if you just like to wait for everyone else to kill each other, then I suggest any area on the map that is unnamed, places like the mountains, the lighthouse, as well as the houses near it, as well as the houses near Slurpy Swamp. Once you touch down, the guns you grab should be very important to you if they aren't already. Granted, Fortnite does work with an RNG system, so it'll be completely random what guns you find. There is a rarity system with the guns, as well as other items that are in the game, that range from gray items, green, blue, purple, and lastly, orange. Gray being what people would call the worst, orange being the best. Regardless of rarity, I want you to know that every gun in this game can kill someone. Even if you have a gold scar, you can still get killed with a gray pistol, so just keep that in mind. When it comes to building a Fortnite, it's really, like, it's easy to do, but it's hard to master. I prefer to use natural cover, but I will build when I have to. If you have been getting your ass beat by sweaty tryhards over and over that get into a casual match and play like they're going for the World Cup, then I suggest changing your settings up a little bit. Play your sensitivity settings. I might cover setting. Uh, I might do a settings video, so let me know if you want to see that. I just wanted to say before I get on to the next point, if you guys got this far in the video, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Like I put a lot of effort into this video, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. All right, on to the next point. Mini shields will give you 25 shield at a time, but you can only get 50 shields from mini shield. So you would have to find a big shield pot after you drink the first two mini shields in order to get 100 shield. When it comes to health, there are three items you can use, either bandages, the bend kits, or the bandage bazooka. Bandages take 3 seconds before they give you health, and each one gives you 15 health at a time, but you can only get 75 health from bandages. Bandages won't give you 100 health at all, it will cap at 75, so you would need to find another item such as the bandage bazooka or the med kit in order to get 100 health. When it comes to med kits, a med kit will give you 100 health regardless of whether you have 99 health or if you have 1 health. So med kits can help you out, but it takes 10 seconds to use. So just keep that time in mind. And with the Bandage Bazooka, it's a really great item. I love it so much. You can heal yourself by shooting your feet, or you can heal others, either close range or long range. It doesn't really matter. And just like a bandage, just like a normal bandage, they will get 15 health at a time, but the Bandage Bazooka is able to heal people up to 100 health, unlike the regular bandage. Truthfully, don't ever be afraid to run from a fight if you don't have any other options. Some may call you a coward, others may call you a pussy, but in the grand scheme of it all, you get to live and the other person that you were fighting is most likely at a disadvantage and about to be run up on while you're somewhere safe healing. My point being, if you have a pistol and someone has a rocket launcher, don't fight them unless you're just that good or if you have balls the size of PewDiePie's subscriber count. And my last tip for, that I have for you guys is just have fun. There's a lot of sweaty people at the other end of this game that take it way too seriously and they end up in their feelings when they get like to third place and end up getting sniped from halfway across the map. If you aren't having fun with any game that you play, then what's the point in even playing it? Truthfully, I hope you guys enjoyed these tips from me and hopefully you can put them to use in some sort of way. If y'all want, like if y'all like this style of video from me, y'all want me to do more, then please let me know by leaving a comment 
liking this video and subscribing. Make sure that you guys follow my Instagram, my Twitter, both of those links will be in the description by the way. I love each and every one of you so much. We are so close to 100 subscribers that it's ridiculous. We're like, I want to say six away. So hell, please do whatever you can to get those last six people in here. They deserve to be part of the nation as much as the rest of you do that have been here since day one and so on and so forth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a very different style of video for me to make. I have never done a tips video before because frankly, I'm bad at Fortnite. So I don't know who I think I am trying to give advice to people or like tips or whatever. But hey, some people who might be able to use those tips. God knows who, but some people might be able to use them. If you did find any of this useful or helpful or if you just like this style of video in general, then please let me know by leaving a like, commenting underneath this video, and following me on Instagram and my Twitter. Those links will be in the description, by the way. And pressing the subscribe button. We, Like I said, we only need six more people in here, so go on ahead. Please go find them. I cannot wait to get 100 subscribers. It's such a big milestone to people who have yet to hit it. It's one of the stepping stones of YouTube, I believe. So I'm going to be really happy when I get mine. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Y'all have been here since the start. And I couldn't be more thankful at all y'all. From the ones who were here from the very beginning to the ones who just got here recently. I love each and every single one of you guys. Have an awesome day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.